Hi everyone, it's John Dickinson from MotionWorks.net here. I wanted to share with you a little substance painter tip. This is a solution to a problem that I was having where I couldn't mask out some height details. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the problem and I'm going to show you the solution. So I've got this Lego guy here and I've been adding some scratches to it. And I'll show you how I added the scratches. First of all, I started off with a fill layer. You can see I've got a scratches layer here I've just turned off. And for this one, I want to only affect the height. So I'm going to turn off everything except the height. Just like that. And just adjust the height. Just decrease it slightly. And now I want to add in some scratches. And the one I was using was the scratch generator. Let's just see if I can find that. And it's this one here, grunge scratch generator. It's just out of the viewable area. You can see that's added some scratches. I'm just going to invert those and adjust the balance. Now for that layer, I can come over here and I can choose the height and then I can adjust this value here. So I can decrease the height of the scratches, which is a nice way to fine tune the scratches. But what I wanted to do was mat out the scratches that weren't working for me. You can come in and you can just click on random and change the random seed until you get something that works for you. But um, I actually had this and there was a few scratches like these two close together, which I didn't like. And I wanted to mat uh, or remove one of these. So what I tried was what you'd expect is just to right click and add a white mask. And then just change the size of my brush there. And then with the mask selected, I could paint directly or I can choose paint. It's a little more flexible if you use this paint operator. If I click on that, you'd expect that if I painted black on the white mask that I would remove one of these scratches. But watch what happens. See, I'm adding more height detail. And this was really confusing me. I couldn't work out how to fix this. So that's the problem. Let's look at the solution. The solution is if I just, I'm going to delete this completely. If I add another layer, just like that, and I'm going to add a mask to that, add white mask. Now, instead of applying the scratches to the fill, I'm going to apply a fill to the mask by right clicking and choosing add fill. Come down here and once again, find my scratches. This one here. So I'm generating the scratches on the mask and not on the fill. There we go. I only want them, of course, on the height. So I'm going to just disable these. And I have to give it some height. Just like that. And now I can apply the paint operator to the mat. And I should be able to paint these out. There you go, just like that. So that's the trick. Apply a fill to the mat or to the mask and apply a paint to that or above that and then paint that out. And that's how you can fine tune where your scratches are or where your grunge is. So nice. Because if I use something, if I use a different brush, let's see, let me just grab one. I'm working in 4K here, so it's a little bit slow. Sometimes you have to work in 4K. Uh, let's go brushes and just grab this dirt brush. And I can fine tune the scratch just by painting over it and make it look less uniform, just like that. Isn't that cool? Okay, so that's the trick. I'm recording this for myself just as much as I'm recording it for you so that next time I try this, I'm not going to forget. 
That's it for now. This is John from motionworks.net. Have fun, be creative, and I'll see you in another tip.